Hello folks, welcome to the channel. This is DoorDash Sucks here uh, on another video and uh, I wanted to just talk with you um, about a couple of things. Like one of the things is, um, so we all know what it's like to be waiting at a restaurant when we pick, when we go to pick up food and stuff. And what's crazy, it's a, it was a Monday night. I mean, it's after my dash now, but um, it's Monday night, right? And right around 6.30 or so. And this place that I went to was an Acapulco's. It was a Mexican place. And the people in there were very nice. You know, the managers and, and everything. And I understand occasionally things happen and someone screws up an order. So that's exactly what they did. They screwed up this burrito order with some other food. And I, had, and I was waiting there. I saw other drivers come in and pick up a couple of orders. But it wasn't busy. So it was like a 20, 25 minute wait. And the only reason I waited is because I didn't, these people know me there and I just didn't want to look like I walked out and it's a slow night anyways, but the order was only for six seventy five, right? Or let me see, was it six seventy five? Yeah, 620, no, 625. And it was only going a couple of miles. And usually at dinner time, I don't take those, those type, but you know, people are not really ordering tonight. And the Uber Eats app was uh, was not I very sparse, very crappy, couple of crappy orders, but like nothing really came in. So around where I live, no one really uses, uses Uber Eats until it gets towards the weekend, okay, or middle of the week. It's a Monday. It's right after Mother's Day. So people aren't really spending money or whatever, right? But the thing is, so I took the time to text this this lady, right, who ordered the food, and I said, "Hi, this is so and so, your DoorDash driver, and uh, you know, I I've, I've been patiently waiting here at the restaurant. I just want to let you know they they screwed up your order by mistake, but they they corrected it and they fixed it, and I'm just patiently waiting here. And thank you for using DoorDash, like I always do, right? And she's like, "Oh, thank you," and I I'm like, "Oh, you're very welcome. I'll I'll." I'll be on my way shortly and I'll let you, you know, I'll be there very soon. She was only a couple of miles up the road. Now I dropped the order off. Now the house that I dropped off to was moderately nice. It wasn't a million dollar mansion, but these people had money. You know what I mean? I know they do. Anyone who lives in a good, nice house with cars in the driveway, they have money. So I dropped the order off and it came out to seven, seven, seven dollars and 75 cents. And I just thought to myself, I've had customers that have tipped me after I've chatted with them and upped the tip, but it's, it's rare, but it does happen. And you think, I mean, for God's sakes, you can't put two, two, three more dollars in there, even make it like round it off to like whatever. I mean, I'm guessing that the order was, they threw $5 in and just thought, oh, call it a day. But where is people's compassion? Where is people's, I mean, some people are stupid. They, they just think, oh, that driver must be making so much money. He doesn't need any more money than what I'm giving him, you know. We're in 2022, folks. If, if, if you're a customer and you are listening to this, I mean, if you're a driver, you know what I'm talking about. But if you're a customer, you need to up the tips for your, your customers, I mean, your drivers, because it's, a, it's atrocious, you know what I mean? And I, and I mean, I'm not all that upset about it. But because it's a Monday night, but it's like, like if you you're ordering food that cost like this was three orders of food, right? It was over fifty, sixty dollars. You couldn't throw another two, three dollars in there. I mean, if I had made ten dollars on that, I would have felt good. You know what I mean? Like if 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 there was even a seven dollar tip with a three twenty five base pay or something, I would have been kind of happy. You know, but like, it's ridiculous. So anyways, there's that. Uh, could you write down in the comments? I mean, if this has happened to you, I'm sure it has. Let me know what your situations are, how you deal with them. I mean, you know, to help the community here, you know, let us know what do you think is a better solution? And I mean, you know, is there a minimum order that you take? What's your minimum? Is it 625? Is it seven? Is it eight? Do you wait for $10 orders only? Or, or more than that. Maybe I should just start doing that. But when it's slow, what are you going to do? And what if no $10 order comes in, right? Y you got to kind of go with the flow, in my opinion. Now, the second thing I want to talk about is the fact of, um, uh, oh, man, I lost my train of thought. Forgive me, folks. It's on the fly here. I'm making this video. Um, 
it was a really important topic and I, and I hate when I can't remember, you know, that's why I like to do these on the fly videos too. So I can remember what, what I need to tell you guys and, and to try to help you out. Um, but, oh, okay. I know what it was. Uh, <laughs> so I normally, like I told you guys and gals, I'm, I'm not, I'm trying to stay away from fast food restaurants. I'm trying to just take from premium restaurants, right? Cause they, they all suck. Now, we all know what's been going on the past couple of years, right? How a lot of these places were closed down and we all had to go through the drive throughs to pick up orders, right? You remember those times when they were closing the, the stores and saying, oh, they're short staffed and all this stuff. And they probably were. Okay. And I know there's some that still are, but here's the deal. You ever go to, like, I just went to a Taco Bell, right? It was an $8 and 50 cent order, which here I got sucked in again, right? Only going a mile. And I come up to the, the door and the thing's locked. And you know what I think's happening, folks? I think that these young kids who are running the the stores, I don't even think there's there's real managers inside these stores anymore. Or they're, they're appointing these young kids to be a manager because no one else will manage the store. So they're like, you know what? I'll just make you the manager. And these kids are like closing down the stores on their own because they don't want to deal with people in the store. They only want to kind of funnel everyone through the uh the drive through and do it that way and that's that's like terrible so i got to the place and i unassigned the delivery it was a, it was an uber eats and i and i got pissed and it's like i feel like calling corporate these corporate offices and saying why are you having the, the lobbies closed i bet i will bet you a million dollars folks if we if we start calling corporate these offices right i mean we don't have the time to do it when we're dashing right but if we called them and said, hey, uh, such and such Taco Bell on such and such a street was closed, uh, only their drive through was open. Can you please explain why? And I want a good reason. Don't just tell me any reason, you know. And imagine if the corporate actually called the store and said, hey, you guys, we got complaints about that store being closed. Why? And, they, and, the, and the top management by, might be like, why are you closing it? You're not supposed to be doing it. I went to a Burger King about a year and a half ago when this whole um, fake thing, disease thing happened, right? We all know what we're talking about, right? And uh, I get to the store and uh, I, I, tr I try to go in and she says, she had a, the bathrooms blocked off and everything. She goes, oh, you can't come in. Uh, we're not letting anyone in here and this and that. And it's like, who who are they uh, to to do that, right? They They were closing things down before they had these, these mandates to close everything. You know what I mean? They were doing it on their own. And I think that these people, these, these um, stores are getting used to doing that and, and just like doing it whenever they feel like it, because they don't want to deal with customers. And that's not right because it's, it's screwing drivers who are trying to legitimately pick up orders. And then we have to stay in the normal line behind people. That's not right. So write in the comments, what you think, should be like the right thing to do. Should we call and complain at corporate or, or should we go to the next day and talk to the manager, the real manager of the store, if there is one and say, why are you closing down the store? Right? Because if people start complaining, we, we could change, we might be able to change some certain things. You know what I mean? You might be saying, Oh, well, that's just they do because what they're going to do the the people in the store are going to lie to you. If you say to the, like the regular workers, Oh, why are you close? Oh, we're closing it because we're short staffed. What if they're doing it on their own, folks, and corporate doesn't know that they're doing it? You know what I mean? So it's not like you want to be a rat or anything, but here's the thing. It's causing you not to be able to pick up an order because do you want to sit in that that line for 30, 40 minutes waiting to get, get the food to go deliver to someone? It doesn't make sense. Right now, there is no, no there's nothing closed down in America here. So everything is open and these, if these stores are doing this now, imagine what happens when they come back in the fall. Cause by the way, folks, they're going to lock everything down again, you know, in the fall. I know you, you think I may be crazy for saying that, but you watch what happens when, when, uh, we get past the summer and we come into the fall, they're going to lock everything down in America. A lot of these stores, you, you may not even be driving again, folks. They're planning on closing everything down now. That ties into my other channel that I want to tell you about. If you've not gone over there before, I have a channel over on BitChute called Waking Up the Sheep. 
Waking Up the Sheep on BitChute. I will leave the links in this video so you can go over there and check out that, um, that material. That material over there, folks, is completely different from stuff that you listen to here, okay? Uh, I, there's certain things I can't talk about on this channel, so you're going to have to go over there to kind of, you know, poke around, watch videos. You may or may, you may or may not disagree with what I have to say over there. Some of the videos I don't speak in, I have other videos that I post, but it's to wake you up to let you see the other side of things, what's going on behind the scenes. Cause you need to be, you need to know some of this information, folks. I'm sure a lot of you already do. Some of you may not agree, but at least you'll, you'll be, you'll have some knowledge and you'll have more information. So I really highly suggest you go over there. Cause I spend a lot of time on that channel doing totally different things. Um, so this is strictly about ride share and deliveries and talking about that, but it's tied into a lot of that stuff. So I just wanted to expose you to that. So if you guys and gals could write in the comments, what you think about, uh, the situation of what I just talked about, uh, let me know because it, it helps everyone helps the community. And, uh, I appreciate each and every one of you. And I appreciate all the new subscribers that are coming on. We're coming up, coming close to 500 now. It's very soon. Another, I think 30 or 40 people. We'll be hitting 500, and I, I thank all of you because all of you, I love all of you, you know, no matter who you are out here, I'm just trying to help you guys out. Um, there's been some really great comments by just so many great people, and just know, folks, that I'm an honest, genuine person. You know, I care about all of you from the heart, even though I don't know you, I've never met you. And I'm not tied in with any other channels. I'm not, I'm not out here to make money. That's not why I do this channel. I mean, it, you know, there's so many channels. I mean, and I'm not knocking the channels that do it, but it's like, it just seems that when these people get big, when they get big, right, they kind of, that's like all they do. And they're not really connected to doing what they originally intended to do. And that's not where this channel's going, folks. I'm going to stay real 100. You know what I mean? That's why I don't monetize these videos. And one last question I'll ask you. Have you seen any of the videos? Like when you click on my video, do you, does an ad play for you? Because I, if it does, I, I need, I haven't had the time to go back into my YouTube studio, but I got to disable those ads. I don't want any ads playing on my videos because I'm not getting paid for them. And I, I don't want to get it monetized. I hate Google. Google, I had a problem with Google years ago. They st stole money from me from another channel that I was doing many years ago. And I, I just, I'm not going to get into that. In the future, I may leave a, a, a tip jar type of, you know, so you guys, if because people have suggested it, could you leave a tip, you know, can, we'd like to tip you and I'll, I'll allow that. You know, because I, I mean, I tip people too. When I go to other channels, I'll, I'll do a super chat, but you, you guys, I, I'm not going to be able to super chat with me in any capacity. Cause I don't, I'm not monetized and I haven't set that up. And in the future, maybe I'll do a live stream or something down the road, but, uh, you know, I don't know. I'll, I will have to see, but anyways, thanks a lot for watching this video. I hope you got something out of it. I hope it helps you with some information and please comment down the bottom and thank you so much for watching the video. And I'm going to be putting some more videos out, uh, some important ones over the next couple, two or three, four days out. So stick by the channel and I'll see you guys and gals on the next one. Take care.